If it's love that you want Baby, you've got it Hello guys, Brandon here Today I wanted to discuss, um, well, I figured the best way I could sort of wrap this up would be calling it the the appeal of Diablo 2 and the retention of the players. And I've had this topic in my head for a good amount of time now and I finally found a moment where I felt right to uh, sort of jot down some of my thoughts and theories here. And um, in making content and playing this game off and on, as a pastime for, I don't know, since I was a teenager, we'll say my late teens, I've had this thought that maybe it's sort of uh, become our generation's, um, what handheld slot machines and solitaire was to our, to our previous generations. I remember seeing my grandmother sitting in her favorite chair playing her video slot handheld machine video game for a few moments here and there in the evening as she was relaxing. And uh, with the way Diablo 2 plays to a longtime player, or at least, you know, some of them, the game can be remarkably just like a slot machine, you know, only uh, instead of picking a class and um, choosing, you know, the, your build and leveling up and then farming, you cut right to the chase with the slot machine. You push the button and you hope for a jackpot. Or in the case of Diablo, a player hopes for a high rune or a unique item. Then again, that's just one way of looking at it. I was thinking of, you know, the similarities of the games I enjoy. And uh, what stood out the most to me is that I noticed I gravitated m mainly to single player games where I have a lot of different options and, um, different, you know, courses to get through the game, I guess high replayability in a singer, single player setting. Heck, like, um, <laughs> I don't know, some of those games would be like Dark Souls, Pokemon, Final Fantasy, Binding of Isaac, and of course, you know, Diablo games. Heck, even World of Warcraft draws me in occasionally, and I'm not interested in sort of like a not like a raiding late game or anything like that. <clears throat> it's more like um, it's more like just picking a race, class, and some professions, and then taking on the world for an experience. Now I can't be the only one who likes to play like this. At least I hope not. But uh, I think you know choice is a big deal. Now going back to Diablo, I see a lot of players returning to the game for nostalgia, and like I have this you know, lingering suspicion. I'm not certain, but I just wonder, like, you know, looking at the patterns players fall into, I think about the time running different monsters and areas over and over, and I'm like wondering, you know, do players have addictive personalities to be exploited? And furthermore, is, an in is there an inclination toward gambling in any way possible? Like, if we weren't playing this game, would some of us be compulsive gamblers of a sort? Just a few questions I start asking myself when I look at the patterns players fall into. <clears throat> and then I think about, you know, I don't know, will, will you ever be satiated? What does it take to be satiated with the game? The search for something is a big draw. You find people who love finding and collecting things. You know, I think having a game that you collect things in, you know, internally is, you know, a, a giant space saver than actually being a collector of something in the real world. Now, uh, you know, let's remind ourselves, fun is a relative and subjective term to the individual. And if your inclination is toward collecting and gambling, I think Diablo is probably like, you know, amazing. That's like you saving yourself actual money. Unless, of course, you go by the time is money, in which then that's subjective because if we're going to have fun doing something, you know. Anyway, while I bounced all over the place in this topic, 
Um, it wasn't that I wanted to convince anybody of anything. I just was sort of thinking of ways to see the game, you know, as sort of, it could be looked at as an action RPG laying on top of a, uh, of a slot machine, you know, or it can, it can be a lot of things, really. Um, is time invested into the game a good or a bad thing? Well, that comes down to you. I think it's important to just know yourself and know what you're doing and why you're doing it, you know. <clears throat> And um, if I didn't sort of evolve in my what I'm getting enjoyment out of at the current moment, I probably wouldn't even play the game, honestly. But um, I've found ways to keep it interesting for myself. And uh, I don't judge anyone else on how they, um, you know, derive fun from this game. Um, it just comes down to you, and I think that's important. Um, I've come across a lot of players who are very responsible people, pay their bills, don't have a whole lot of interest in many contemporary video games. I think a lot of us sort of fall into that. I don't know what it is. Um, I think a lot of games are interested in the initial sale, maybe, and not uh, long-lasting value outside of like shooters, but I've never really been into shooters. Um, I don't know. Okay, I don't want to go too off the rails here, but I hope... Uh, I hope you've come across my video here and you're just maybe having a little introspection as to why you play, what makes it fun for you. Anyway, hope it entertained and all the best guys. Thanks for watching.